2020 has been a year unlike any other. Months of lockdown has caused many of us to reconnect with nature. In this film, we will explore the wild world from a new perspective. How has nature thrived in our absence? And what new wildlife behaviour have we seen? Across the changing seasons, we explore wildlife over lockdown. Spring, in a Surrey woodland, and the first thing we noticed as lockdown set in, we can hear the birds. Undisturbed by road traffic and the clamour of voices, their chorus is louder than ever. Blackcaps and chiffchaffs, both calling to attract mates. And in the undergrowth, a wren. Wait for wait, his voice is ten times louder than a cockerel and for the first time, we can hear him clearly. These woods are now alive with birdsong. But in spring, it is nest building that is vitally important. And high up in the canopy, one species is taking advantage of the peace and quiet. Green woodpeckers, busy excavating and renovating their nests. But they are not alone up here. Great spotted woodpeckers also looking for nest sites. And there are new arrivals from a faraway land, rose-ringed parakeets. It is rare to see so many species on a single tree, but with society ground to a halt, animals are showcasing new behaviours. But all this activity attracts unwanted attention. A little owl one of the woodland's fiercest predators. These secretive birds are normally seldom seen, but the quiet woods have made them bold. It is a privilege to see so many predators this openly. And perhaps a reduction in woodland management has drawn them into the open. These red foxes are normally skittish and shy, but now they need not fear watchful eyes. They can hunt in daylight. But it is during night time, in woods free of light and noise pollution, that the wild world comes alive. Night vision cameras offer a unique glimpse into this world. Roe deer stags are sharpening their antlers to impress the resident females. And underground, shy faces appear. Badgers. Emerging from their winter sleep into a strange, quieter world. And across the country in the Forest of Dean, where some view wild boar as a threat to dogs and walkers, now they have the whole forest to themselves. Every aspect of human society has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. But in the natural world, it may be Britain's rivers that have seen the greatest changes. And a host of rare animals are revealing themselves. Dippers use their strong toes and short, powerful wings to search for insect larvae underwater. They are the world's only aquatic songbirds. But their size means they must stick to the shallows. Cormorants don't have this trouble. They can find plenty of food in deeper water, although sometimes it can be quite a mouthful. And in the peaceful rivers of South Wales, even the most elusive residents can appear. Otters. Highly social animals rarely ever seen in normal times. And even beavers. 2020 has been a landmark year for these industrious engineers with several reintroductions. And these beavers in Devon have just received legal protection. Spring is giving way to summer and the pandemic shows little sign of slowing. But the wild world is full of new life, now seen like never before. 
Roe deer have fawns in tow, and they can graze in the open without risk of car collisions or bikes. And for boar piglets and fox cubs born in the spring, they can roam unmolested by dogs or walkers. Even otter cubs are spotted playing in daylight. And the badgers are busy too. As the adults collect bedding, the cubs are free to play. Summer is fading to autumn, and soon the cycle of life will begin again. And it's heralded by the call of the red deer. The rut is approaching. It's still practice for these young, fallow deer. But it's no game for this huge red stag. He must aggressively see off any rivals. And there are plenty of contenders lurking nearby. As the seasons change, we must take this moment to reconsider our bond with nature. Amidst all the uncertainty, to see new animal behaviour as never before is a poignant reminder of the impact we must normally have on wildlife. As winter begins and vaccines begin to be rolled out, we must all share the responsibility of living alongside nature.